Hi, this is Troy Parson with Zybex Systems. I work in the engineering department, and today I'm going to show you how to pick the correct monitor mounting system if you're going to add an additional monitor to our Zybex workstations. I'm going to talk about three types, a monitor additional knuckle, a quick stack, and a too high upgrade, uh, and go into detail on how to mount that and make it work for you. First thing we're going to talk about is uh, what configuration your monitor is that you have that you're going to be mounting to the Zybex system. Uh, what we want to look for is the mounting pattern, and typically those are uh, referenced in millimeters. So a, most standard monitors nowadays have a 100 by 100 mounting pattern, and that's what our, monitor, our uh, monitor mounts typically uh, have for available. But we also offer an adapter plate where we could do a 100 by 200. This is an example of a 100 by 200, or even up to a 200 by 400 mount. So we give you flexibility in that area. Uh, like I said, once you've determined that, and you can also look through your monitor on your monitor model number, and it'll give you that information as well. Next thing you need to determine after you've determined your mounting hole pattern is the weight of the monitors. Our standard knuckle handles up to 35 pounds and our heavy duty knuckles handle up to 75 pounds. Nowadays with the new LED monitors, you're seeing really light weights at like six pounds to 12 pounds. So typically for most situations, you're just gonna need our standard knuckle, but we can also accommodate the heavier ones if you need us to. Now I'm gonna show you how to put an adapter plate on an existing mon monitor that you have. And what we have here is, this is the monitor that we're gonna mount, and it has the standard 100 by, but not standard, non-standard 100 by 200 mounting. So we're gonna need a special plate to do that, and I have that right here. One thing you do wanna notice about this is that the, there is an indent where the plate needs to be mounted, and with our adapter kit, we go ahead and give you the ability to be able to uh, add and take away spacers in order to make that work. So I'm gonna show you how that works. We're gonna put a spacer here, 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 and here. And then I'm gonna take my adapter plate, which is a 100 by 200. I'm gonna place it on top of my spacers. And then I have four metric screws that I'm gonna put in place. And typically with a mo new monitor, uh, they will give you uh, an assortment of screws to adapt to, so it may be in a box for you where you'll have that when it comes with the monitor. I'm just gonna align all four of them first, and the reason that I'm gonna do that is because I want everything to be in the right place. So I'm gonna put it in and kinda just get the screws started a little bit here. Once I've got the screws started, you can see that everything's kinda in place. Then I'm just gonna take a number two Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna tighten those down. Real quick. I'll do it basically corner to corner. That way it'll make the monitor align correctly. And just snug, you don't need to over tighten the screw. Now, once you've done that, you're almost ready to mount your monitor onto our Zybex systems. We'll have to put the knuckle on. But one thing I want to show you is that we, we give you four of these M4 thumb screws. And I'm just going to show you one right here. It looks just like this. And the reason that we do that is that we think it's a lot easier for you to be able to use a thumb screw and not just a Phillips screwdriver when you attach everything. So with our Zybex uh, mounting system, all you need to do is, is you can pre prep these screws. So you're just going to take and you're going to screw your number, your M4 thumb screw into the two upper holes so you want to have it on the top of the monitor and this way you're prepped for mounting. So in the next step I'm going to show you how to put the knuckle onto the monitors or to the monitor, the roller vision and then uh, attach the monitor to it.